It is, what time is it? Oh, it's uh, January 4th, 2022, 5.43 p.m. This is episode 1502. I had a brand new listener yesterday, and she commented on Facebook uh, that I talk way too fast. <sighs> she, she complained about a few other things, too, but she complains a lot. Anyway, uh, you got to get used to it, I guess, because I, I just got to be me, right? Um, and then where was like, I don't know if I'd mentioned this yesterday, maybe because I can't remember if it happened before I made the video or not. But ironically, after doing the Marjorie Taylor Green video about her, um, you know, being kicked, being suspended from Twitter forever, uh, and then she got suspended for, for 24 hours from Facebook, I got suspended yesterday for, for 48 hours from Facebook. My suspension is twice as long as Marjorie Taylor Green's suspension. That's crazy. What did I do to get suspended? This time it was not a cartoon. Somebody made a comment on my Marjorie Taylor Greene cartoon that uh, she needs to be removed from office, like her voters need to throw her out. And I replied, what she needs is to be shot out of a cannon pointed at Siberia. That's the kind of like, uh, I think that humor is on the scale of like uh, Roadrunner and Coyote. But Within minutes, Facebook, I guess their algorithm only saw Marjorie Taylor Greene and shot. <laughs> they, so they uh, suspended me. I appealed. They, they upheld their suspension. Then I got to appeal to some Facebook advisory board thing that they may not even look at. So anyway, yeah, I am off Facebook for 48 hours. And I don't think anybody knows except for like two people. Just people just walking around like, Clay does, does Clay Jones stop cartooning? Because they don't check all the other shit. Like YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or the TikTok or the blog. Uh, I have not been suspended from a blog yet. <laughs> I don't think I could be. Well, I guess I probably could be if I used it for like Nazi shit. I think WordPress has done removed those kind of people before. Anyway, there's a January 6th anniversary coming up in, in th two days. And all the maggots are excited. It's really funny though, because the thing to me is that while they say that they did, a lot of them say they didn't do it. It wasn't us, it was Antifa and Democrats and false flag by the FBI. They're, um, they're still celebrating it. And that happened right when it, right when it happened. The Republicans were on Facebook. That all the maggots were saying, we're, "This isn't us. This, this is Antifa." But man, we're so happy. It, we, we're gonna celebrate January sixth like it's the Fourth of July. The only problem with that is it's a bad comparison because the Fourth of July is for patriots, and January sixth was a bunch of treasonous, seditious dumbasses who hate their country, who hate democracy, and want to overturn our democracy, overturn fair elections that they lost, and then saw a fascist, treasonous dictator unelected. We don't elect dictators. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's do it. And that's not just the way I feel about it, that's the way it is, okay? That's not my opinion, that's exactly what it fucking was. It was sedition, it was treason, and it was to install Donald Trump as a fucking dictator. And here's the thing with you, you Trump heads, you don't even care about any fucking policies except for racist policies, you know? You don't even look at what Donald Trump's done for you. He didn't do anything for you. you. You just want this whole white nationalist symbol up there, and you want to kiss the ass of a dictator, of a right-wing racist nationalist, white nationalist dictator, motherfuckers. All right, uh, stop for ranting now. You guys can kiss my ass. <laughs> you white nationalists can kiss my ass. Rick, nice guys. I'm out of time. Robert Cortino, Rick Salcedo, thank you for the comments. Bye.